Greetings, citizens from the rolling hills of the bluegrass. So they have finally emerged. And who do I mean? I mean the neocons. I mean the, the people that opened my eyes back in 2007, 2008. The people that I had voted for because I thought they were defending the country, but instead you realize all they are are internationalist Republicans. And that's exactly who has come out of the woodwork. Now you see these Republicans, Jeff Flake, um, oh, I forgot it, John Bolton. And you see these people, they've been in the, the periphery and unfortunately in positions of power, but not in the positions where they want to be. <laughs> And now they've actually made their move and they've joined the um, Republicans for Biden. And it's, they've been out of power now for about 12 years, right? 12, 11 years. And they want back in because they're not, the, they're supposed to be the ones steering the course of government because they believe that they are correct I mean they they are exactly like the um, Democrats right now right and this is this is where the more liberty-minded and I wish there were liberty-minded Democrats that I could point it to maybe Tulsi Gabbard but she she goes all in on the social programs and it's like I can't follow you there you know, there's there's like a lot of it. Um, Bill Maher, I've mentioned before. You know, there for a long time he called himself a um, a libertarian, but you realize after a time that maybe Bill Maher doesn't mean he's a libertarian. Maybe he means he's a libertarian socialist, because all of these these leftist hosts like this and everything they they have the mentality. Of being stuck in Europe right I watched a debate with Milo Yiannopoulos and um, the uh, twitch streamer destiny and Milo said that he had changed his opinion on American style capitalism and how it needs a governor and and it's 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 precisely the European mindset coming out right people People want to group all white people together and they want to group all black people together and all Asians and everything. And it, it totally <laughs> negates the fact that people are different. Cultures are different. America is different from Great Britain. And I know we Americans love the accent, no matter which um, accent it comes from, from Great Britain. But especially that hoity London accent the, the received pronunciation accent and the Irish accent. Sorry, Welsh. Sorry, Scotland. You know, it's like, okay. But those, those three are the ones that get all of the attention. But anyways. And Milo said that he no longer believed in free or open markets. And <laughs> that that's, that's the moving backwards to or moving towards, not backwards, but moving towards that European mindset. Because the Europeans, for the most part, have never had true freedom. It can be debated if Americans have ever had it, but the Europeans, we know for a fact, have never had true freedom because they still have kings and queens. And yes, some of them may be just de facto, well not de facto, may just be figure pieces. But they're still there. They still have a monarchical system. Okay? I, I don't want to mix too many words, but let's, let's be very real. Europeans do not understand Americans. Americans do not understand Europeans. And while we may be friendly and nice, our worldviews are different. 
And this is where the neocons have come in. And they are the internationalist Republicans. They try to reach out. And I'm all for trade. I'm all for diplomacy. Absolutely 100%. All avenues of diplomacy must be um, exhausted before any troops cross a border. Right? But not with the neocons, because they say, on one hand, we need diplomacy, but then they're the first people to send in troops. Right? Remember Iraq. Iraq is a linchpin to all of this. Because it got us buried in the Middle East. Now that was more than likely economics, and... It's been pointed out by people that, unfortunately, the economic side of war is never discussed because everyone wants the just war. You know, they want, they want the righteous war, the war fought for a purpose. But if you make that purpose about money, you're not going to get many people to follow you. You're not going to get many people. But if you say yellow cake... If you say yellow cake uranium, oh my god, that person has weapons of mass destruction. If you say weaponized gas, genocide, boom, and they all rush the door. I'm there first, I want to fight it. But if you say, well, we may, uh, we may need that oil. We may uh, need trading partners. But that's where the neocons have come in. And they're back. And for those of the liberty mind, both on the left and the right, we need to watch them. Because their track record right now is not that great. They shoot first and ask later. And they are dangerous.